Hey guys, I'm sure you're all aware of the devastating news of the Lion Air 737 MAX crash that occurred on Monday morning. Before I begin, I would just like to say that I am deeply saddened at this tragic event and my heart goes out to all those who were killed in the crash or otherwise affected by it in any way. Though my goal on this channel is to keep the atmosphere rather positive, due to the gravity of this particular crash, I felt it necessary to make a video on it. I hope you can understand. As we delve into this incident, I will update you on the current status of the crash and hopefully try to shed some light on possible reasons for why it may have occurred. Lion Air Flight JT610 took off Monday morning from Jakarta, Indonesia on October the 29th carrying 189 people on board. The flight was operated by a 737 MAX 8 aircraft, which was delivered in August of this year. This is rather troubling because the aircraft was brand new, delivered just a few months ago, and new aircraft usually do not go down so soon after being put into service. 13 minutes after takeoff, the plane experienced a sudden 700-foot drop, which you can see in the screenshot from Flight Radar 24, before plummeting into the sea, killing everyone on board. This crash is marked as the first major incident involving the 737 MAX plane. Unfortunately, as of right now, there is no exact reason or evidence for why the plane crashed, and investigations are still ongoing, with the black box being just recently discovered. There are, however, some potential ideas and speculations that may provide some information on the matter. Pilots on board the previous flight on the aircraft had reported technical problems, stating that the plane was displaying an unreliable airspeed. Engineers had checked out and supposedly repaired the issue before giving the plane clearance to fly again. This would point to a mechanical issue potentially being the cause for bringing the plane down. However, being that the plane was only two months old, a mechanical issue may not be the most likely of reasons, according to aviation specialist Butterworth Hayes. He believes the crash may have been the result of an environmental issue, such as a microburst or birds hitting the plane. Another thing to consider is the airline's safety reputation. Lion Air, as well as most other airlines in Indonesia, do have a fairly poor safety record. Lion Air themselves have experienced a number of crashes, most recent being Flight 904 back in 2013, where the aircraft crashed into the water on final approach just before the runway. Airlines with poor safety records are often found cutting corners on maintenance checks and or employing pilots with less experience than those on reputable airlines, which may or may not have contributed to the crash on Monday. In any case, we will only know for certain what happened to flight JT610 once the investigations are complete, which may take a while as there is no set time frame. Again, my condolences go out to all those affected by the crash. It really is a sad time in aviation. I do hope that at least something may be learned from this tragic event that will help towards preventing potential accidents in the future. So with that, thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon.